I think we're likely to get back to 2019 um, at the earliest 2024. More likely it'll take five years from now, 2026, uh, given uh, where we are. Uh, what I would like to see are some of the issues uh, I've uh, outlined already. I think there has to be a signal that the mandatory hotel quarantine is finished. If it's required, it should be required in extreme circumstances. It, it can't be that it becomes the norm, which in effect it, it, it has become. Uh, I think Ireland has to align with the rest of Europe in terms of having a sensible traffic light system. I think Ireland should use its position of influence within Europe to try and get a common position adopted uh, across uh, the EU, uh, particularly in a post-Brexit environment. It's disappointing to see the EU fragmented uh, the way it is. Uh, I think Ireland needs to look at uh, a testing regime that is risk-based and therefore, um, you know, take on board the recommendation that your committee has made in relation to uh, rapid antigen as opposed to expensive PCR. And uh, I think you've got to make sure in anticipation of uh, getting back moving again, uh, that when people do arrive at airports, that they have a smooth passage into and, and out of the airport. And that will require, uh, you know, so technology. It will require the adoption of um, some form of a digital system to allow people to do that in an, in a, uh, an efficient manner. Uh, but, you know, we, we've got to change the attitude in Ireland uh, where travel is seen as an evil. Uh, and I, I don't understand that, given how critical it has been to the uh, the growth of the Irish economy. Uh, you know, it has enabled people both in the island uh, and, and outside uh, to, you know, to do business in a way that wouldn't have been possible. Um, you know, we've been massively successful in attracting uh, business into Ireland. But if you don't have access to the island, uh, I really do worry about uh, you know, the businesses that have relocated here, whether they're going to look at other um, parts of the world. And I can tell you, I'm doing that from my own point of view here at IATA, you know, because there are some countries where I have offices where they're, you know, they're making it very difficult for us to work. So we're already looking at, can we relocate those offices to a, a more business friendly uh, environment? Uh, so uh, I think Ireland needs to move and move fast. And I can understand you know, the political risk associated with making decisions like this. But, you know, I come from an airline background where we have to manage risk on a daily basis. It's it's in our DNA uh, and we do it well, uh, you know, uh, and we understand how to manage risk. Uh, but, you know, it is going to be important to uh, make change and make change quickly. Uh, the damage that's being done is uh, significant and uh, is uh, increasing uh, every day.